Hey guys, I want to talk about my electric motorcycle conversion. Go over everything and hopefully, you know, if you're thinking about doing something like this, learn from my mistakes along the way and uh, learn what I've learned. So let's get right into it. This is the donor cycle. It's a 1974 Honda XL 175. I picked this up because it was 450 bucks with a clean title, has a brand new seat on it and brand new tires. And the frame is in good shape, the body's in good shape. And those are like all the things that I wanted. The motor was shot, which is also what I wanted. I removed the motor, took me about an hour to get the motor out and wasn't anything worth showing you guys. Pretty easy, straightforward. The reason why I chose this bike, it's small, it's light. Look at this thing, without, I could, I picked this up, I put it in the back of my station wagon and drove it home and took it out all by myself. Well, actually I had the owner help me load it into there, but I could have put it in myself. So I wanted something small and lightweight. And this bike is in between a street bike and a dirt bike, which is perfect. That's what I wanted. I wanted like an Enduro. I was looking at KLR 250s with blown motors or a KE 100 with a blown motor. Ideally you want something with a blown motor so you're not just wasting the engine. And this was perfect. It had the engine on it. He said it, it worked, but it just needed a little bit of work to it. I was like, well, I'm not doing a little bit of work to it. I'm, the only work I'm doing is just pulling it out. So yeah, if you're looking for a donor cycle, look for something with a title, because if you're gonna be using it on the street, you wanna be able to register it. So get something with a clean title, unless you wanna go through the hassle of getting bonded titles and lost titles and all that stuff. I've done that before with, I did that on a scooter I bought one time. It's a pain in the butt, but it's totally doable. Anyways, it's it's a it's a hassle. You don't I, don't, I don't recommend doing it. So find something with a clean title. I think for a starter one, get something small, lightweight, so you don't need to get a huge motor to, to power it. I ended up ordering a 4,000 watt mid-drive motor from QS Motor. I know you're like, why didn't you go with the hub motor? I don't know, probably should have, but I kind of, I wanted to use the chain. I didn't want to do too much sur surgery with it. So all I have to do here is just mount the motor and reuse the chain and then that's it. We'll find out. Maybe I made a mistake by not going with a hub motor for this one. Like I said, like high power, it's not, there's no transmission here. So the benefits of going with a hub motor over a, a mid drive, there's a decent amount. There's no chain, there's no less moving parts. We'll find out if I should have done that, but I wanted to keep some of the aesthetics of having a chain and keep the way that it looks. A lot of people are like, oh, you're going to put a battery in the gas tank. No, because this is a small gas tank. It maybe holds a gallon and a half. And if I were to fill this with batteries, it would probably give me like a 10 mile range. So I'm gonna have to put batteries here. It's gonna be probably twice the size of this all in here. I, I'll probably put the controller in here and maybe the charger in here. So all I have to do is just plug in here, run an extension cord to the outlet. I think that's gonna be my design here. But yeah, for 450 bucks, I should be able to sell the motor for maybe another 100. So it'll be down to 350 bucks for a motorcycle. I'll have to do some custom wiring. But yeah, I'm really excited about this. I'll keep you guys posted. Let me know if you have any questions or if you have any tips, if you've already done this and uh, have any pitfalls for me to avoid, that'd be great. But um, otherwise I'll keep you guys posted. I think this is the way to go. There's so many great motorcycles out there that have great bodies, but the engine's shot and has old technology. Maybe you got an old two stroke that's just a smoke bomb. When you drive it down the street, yank that thing out, put an electric, electric motor on it, bring it into the 21st century give it some power like this this electric motor is going to be powerful it's going to be a 72 volt system but probably running about 100 amps so it's going to be a 7,000 watt system which is going to be about 10 horsepower but it's going to be instant so this thing should boogie pretty good top speed will probably be around like 60 but i'm not going for highway cruiser with this i'm looking for something that i could you know jump on the highway for a brief second if i have to i could take this thing off road and just this is an adventure machine for me so i'm really excited about this bike stay tuned guys if you're looking for a for a donor bike i recommend something like this lightweight dual sport ish with new components on it that are important, like new tires, new seats, and things work, like the brakes work. Thanks guys.